Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon, Governor Cooper signed an executive order that prohibits people applying for state jobs from having to mark a box stating whether or not they have a criminal record. The order just applies to state job applicants, but what do you think of this ban the box order, uh, John? I generally agree with it. Um, remember that this doesn't mean that a criminal record isn't going to come into play as a job is filled because there's still going to be background checks sure. and questions asked about a, 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 whether a particular thing pops up in the report. This is simply to avoid the pre-screening that previously happened if you check the box that says I've been convicted of a crime and then an employer wouldn't even look at you. So the idea here for the state is to avoid that step and to try to really give people who've made mistakes in their life but are trying to, to get on the right track, give them the opportunity to get a job. There is some risk associated with ban the box, as we have seen in some studies. There are some employers that might jump to the wrong conclusion. In other words, they will substitute cruder, sort of bigoted uh, screening right. processes for the, the, the box being checked. I suspect that wouldn't be as big of a problem with state government agencies uh, using the background checks and so forth. So I think it'll, I think it'll work out the be for the best. Chris, there was also some effort to expunge the records, uh, particularly of younger people that were involved in minor uh, crimes. What do you think of the ban the box? Uh, I agree with John in this case. I think that it is too often people are immediately excluded uh, without the circumstances of what happened that led them to be in the criminal justice system. And John is right. This does not mean for people who are worried about it that we're going to have a lot of criminals hired by state government who aren't appropriate. I think what we'll have is people interviewed and they'll be able to explain themselves. People can do background checks. We can find out what the offense was, what the person has been uh, doing with their lives, his or her lives since then. This is interesting. And we've talked about this on the show. And you mentioned expungement. This is one of the, thank goodness, one of the policy areas where for the most part, not entirely, but the left and the right agree, we at least need to do a better job not automatically disqualifying people from one mistake they made when they were 19 years old, especially if it wasn't a violent crime and they've paid their debt and all. That goes to expungement. It goes to ban the box. It's just we need to come to grips with the fact that people are human beings. We need to treat each case individually. It does put a little more burden on employers, but that's good, including the state of North Carolina. Uh, we need to go deeper than just one question to determine whether or not, as John mentions, people make it through the the, the primary. Get the beyond the first cut. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. that's sort of what I this was explained to me. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.